Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We got Nate and Doug in the house, and we are on air. Nate and Doug have been working on the front spring. Um, I am working on the back of the car. I'm going to split this. I've got this tied together here. I'm going to split this up through the metal, middle, excuse me, and then I'm going to butt weld this back together just to get the full visual with it overlap like that. It doesn't look that great. Let's go over here with Nate and what Nate and Doug are doing. So these are, you took out what springs? We took out the two top ones and the second one up to the bottom. And then Doug's got them cut off here now for our spacer that's gonna go back in there. So they've, they've taken two complete leaf springs, or three? Three. Three complete leaf springs out of the front end. Um, Doug has cut three pieces like this. Uh, out, of the out of the springs that have been taken out of the front, and the reason being is... So here, Doug, we, uh, when they bolt up in with the U-bolts underneath, this is actually measured it out, so that it sets on here like this after it's up in there. So the, another one sets here. So basically what he's saying is, is that we've used the, the springs he's taken out to put back in, so we do not have to change the U-bolts. The so U-bolts. Because they're, have to have they're shorter yeah, U-bolts. They're the same length. So we're just using the factory gear to put it back together. Right. Also, you can see how this is going back together. What has happened, the eye was this way before. The eye, this eye, this spring here was up this way before because he uh, reversed it. Now it's coming back together. Yeah. This is actually, we're going to bolt this on. This is going to go on here right now. So that's gonna and that's going to be squeezed yeah. together back up in the front end again yeah. with the U-bolts going up with through yep. there like that. Yep. The U-bolts will be here, center bolt there. And these are for? Right together. That's just for keeping the springs, help keeping them straight. That's yep. all they are. Okay. Yep. So the U -bolts that, looks, that spring looks really good. Have it bent there, it looks really good. We got, is that a new center bolt? New center bolt, yep. Okay. New center bolt, yep. And that goes on there like so. And that gives it the exact same amount of springs in the head before. Same as it was before it come when it come apart, yep. So your U-bolts are going to work just like they did before. Yep. And then we'll just get that together and set it up in there. So Jolene will go, um, well, Jolene will follow what's going on. Um, they're going to try to get that spring put back in the car. I'm going to get the back rear section here yep. uh, cut so and spliced together. Let's go for it. So Jolene's just going to follow half, everybody around, show you what's going on. We want to thank you for coming back. We really appreciate it. The bomb of the car yeah, yeah, yeah. is really looking good. It Tap is. It's really looking good. So what I've got here is I've got a line where it comes together, and I've got a line here where it's hitting up here. So I'm just going to run my grinder through it, and hopefully I can get both. Hopefully I can get both pieces cut at the same time. That's what I'm hoping, so I can butt weld together, and I know it fits. You have a Milwaukee one there, isn't it? <laughs> Doug's dad uh, was just in. He was wondering if we were ever going to get this car back together. <laughs> it did and uh, it, it, it's funny to you know to listen to. To be honest with you, uh, he's watching on TV, but you got to see firsthand too. Yeah. Cool. All right, I'm going to cut this. Where I've got this laid down, it's kind of laid down here, and this one's kind of laid down. When I bring that up, I'm probably going to get a gap. Probably a little bit of a gap, but I really want to cut it together, so.
That's what I should have done. I've probably actually actually done that wrong now that I'm thinking about it. And the reason I'm thinking that I've done that wrong, because when I pull that up, I'm going to have a big gap there. A big old one-ton I should have cut stuff just the stuff top, don't go together that easy. pulled it up, and then cut the line. Damn it. Let's, let's do this. That's not what I should have done, what I just did. Should have weighed it and just cut the top, pulled it up in place, and then cut it. Too. Once the U-bolts are on, it'll suck it together a little bit more. We don't want to strip that center bolt either. Let's go snug it for now. No, it's just a, a wee pee. A wee pee. A going on. Get that there a little. Yeah, see, that's what happened too. Look, look, I'm gonna pull that up and have a big gap. I should have had. I should have cut. It's looking pretty good. Let's cut these off before oh, we get well. up in there. That's what happens sometimes. <laughs> That was the shoot. We didn't have nothing any shorter, did we, Doug? No, they probably, they probably should have space for the they not? Well, they didn't from original, but from original, most of them did, right? But we'll just snug them up after, and then you got your grinder geared up. I'll get you snug them off. So the threads are going to fall out on them. Right. Yeah. I'll get you to cut them. Uh, when they cut the skull off, though, just stay back to the right there. Yeah. Leave that much. Yeah. Right? And cut these ones off. Please and thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Bring her up there. The U bolts are in really good shape, so. Yeah. Yeah, they're in real good shape, so. Maybe we're lucky on this one. Ouch. A lot of times they don't work that easy. Sometimes that's the hardest part, is remember putting on the ground. <laughs> I guess we should have these cleaned up first day, Doug. Uh, well, I'm pretty used to the grease. Well, that's overlapped there a little bit. Oh, we'll be up. <laughs> right? Doug, yes. are you busy this second? Can you climb in the car without jumping on the seats and all that sort of stuff, if possible? Yes. Right, I'm going to give you a... I don't know how you got in and got out of it last time, but as long as you know I'm jumping on the seat, okay? Joys of being mini. Mini? Hobbit. Oh, Hobbit. What I'm going to ask for, Doug, just a sec, old buddy. I got a, I've got a, I got a, I got a weld mark right there. You can't get your head in. I got a weld mark right there. I want you to go down, say four inches, and just push up with this hammer, with the two pieces of metal together, and I'll say when. And I will say when. Right there. Come down a little further. 
going to hold that pose for a couple seconds. You, you got you got it? Yeah. Okay. I'm overlapped right there. Do not care. Do not care. I want to I get this together and see what it looks like. Looks like we're touching there, man. Yeah, just keep coming up. Keep pushing. Yep. All right. Can you come down a little further? All right, come down. Actually, we might be able to come down. I've got some tar on the bottom. I gotta get clean that off. Right there is quite a hold up sec there, Douglas. I'm gonna get the tar cleaned off there. Um, a little scraper. I thought that would go together, to be honest with you, but it's not. That's nice, eh? It's nice. All right, I have some... Um, see if I can get a knife or something. Just a sec, Doug, right with you. Take a break. What's that? Um, might work. What's going on here? I got that insulation that was on the roof. That worked perfect, sweetheart. That worked yeah. absolutely perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's that stuff that we didn't get off. And I can't, it's not giving me a true read, so off it comes. All right, Douglas. Push up on it, see what happens. Now, right here, push. Push up harder. Can you go back a little bit? Where the first, all right. Why don't you go back a little bit where the weld was, where the little bit of weld there was. There we go. All right, now, now, same distance, do it again. Perfect. Yeah. Let's go back a little further. Yeah. Go back a little further. Push up. Good. Come back. Okay, final. Final little bit. Alrighty. I'm thinking that huh, that looks really good. It's not. Oh, sorry, but that's we heard. It's good for now. Um, it's tucked in a little bit. It has to come out some, but uh, it's a start. It's a start. I thought that I would have more of an issue. I thought that would be separated there, to be honest with you, but. Jed. Yes. In here, your pipe is not touching your roof. Yeah. Break from the front, break to the end. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, okay. I, I, I've learned that. Yeah, and, and here, on this side, it is. is touching. It is touching. Yeah. Right here, yeah. and about here. Uh, and then it's not touching down here. And this one's touching down here. It wasn't touching here before. Yeah. And now it is. Uh, I'm not sure what to say. It doesn't take much to throw off or No. And what I want to know is, like I always do, am I, is it in the center? I think it has to come up a little bit. And the reason it has to come up a little bit, if you take a look at, that's really good there. That's really good. That's like, that's awesome. That's awesome. That down there is not awesome. That has to come out further. So I'm going to connect. Doug, I'm going to connect. I'm going to disconnect um, the one, one, two, three, four. Can you see four weld marks? One, two, three, 
four. Can you tell? See the, yep. I'm, I'm going to disconnect them. We're going to push it up tighter. Okay. Harder. Yep. yep. Nate, you need help back there? I'm okay, man. I'm okay, dude. Some dipper, but I'm okay. <laughs> So it's hanging up in there. You got it hanging in there. Yeah. Back on. All right, can you push up on the first one as hard as you can? Got it? Yeah. If you're happy. Everybody happy. Okay, let's do the next one. Happy, happy, happy. Hard as you can? Yeah. Got it. Next one, hard as you can. Everybody happy, 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 happy. Okay, next one, hard as you can. And the last one. Don't know if we did anything there. But I got my glove. Sorry, but it's all right. Still working together. I'm still thinking that we're down a little bit there, and I don't think there's. I think that can come out some. Oh, we let go up here a little bit. See, there's one that's let go. Just a sec, Doug. Yeah, I think you're on it, Doug. Yeah. Sack, stay with it. Okay, let her go. <laughs> All right. I think that that's fine, but I honestly feel like this is what has to happen. I have. Let's see, not say it has to happen, but this is what I, I think that's going to happen. I have a, a bar here and a bar here. And to be honest with you, they're not playing right. And what do you mean by not playing right? This one's not, this one's not hitting in here. This one's hitting down here and not hitting up there. So I'm thinking that I'm going to pull them bars out. It's going to be quite a probably quite a time to pull that out. And then there's going to be a bar put in the center. I think. I think. I'm not sure yet. You can come on out, Doug. You can give Nathan a hand. I can make a piece. I'm going to make a piece for this up here. We're really going to... It's nice, actually. It's going pretty good. You can come out. Looking pretty good. Uh, that thing, just one second. Is the chair going to fall back, is it? Yeah, it probably will, okay. yes. There's a whole lot of shaking going on. Okay. He's a heavy little hobbit. Oh. <laughs> I'll just put right the crotch right in your pants right there. And then you wouldn't want to work for you at all. I've seen this before. You like to hang. Oh. All right, good. I'm hoping that that's not hurting oh. anything. I didn't even bug you. No, I actually... Up front and see what's going on. I jiggled up in there all by myself, Duggies. Oh wow, you got her all. Well, we're just gonna get things. You are quite jiggly. I am jiggly. <laughs> Alrighty. I do like cheeseburgers. Oh, I do like cheeseburgers. He says. <laughs> <laughs> I do like cheeseburgers. I keep saying I bring my ratchet set with me, and I keep forgetting. Yeah, I could have used it today. Again. I've got that in there, and I want to get that out of there, and I don't like that there. I'm sure, that's not on the spine. What I've got going on These here is I've got a piece of, 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 of
the pin that goes through It's not really doing anything for this for the, area yeah, here because it's, it's, it's really yeah. tight and right. That piece is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, so they see two spines, one on each side, and they both fit right into place. Yeah. Yeah. You know, back in the day, though, everything was square. Or yeah. fine I'm going to cut them out. Not what I want to do, but I'm going to. Exactly, right? Right? If I can get them cut out, it might be a miracle. Trying to be gentle, Doug. Well, that's not doing it. You must have to jack this to get it up in the place. We're going to, yeah. Yeah, as you say. Once we get one side lined up, then we'll get everything else. Kind of got a little bit of a mess a going on there in the back with them. That square, that, what a that mess. round stock. You see that? I thought I had it in shape, but it's not doing its job. I also thought that when I pushed that up, I was going to have a gap all the way down there worse than I got it now. But actually, we're overlapped a little tiny bit. Like about yeah, probably, probably an eighth, yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm not sure how that happened, but... Whoever, whoever made them, made what happens is you, that. what I do is I gen generally try to deal with the issue at hand. So sometimes you figure something's going to happen and it doesn't, well then you, then you just have to deal with it. That's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm dealing with my decisions that I made that I'm not happy with. I'm not saying not happy with, it's just, it's like not that, working that out the way I think off? it should. That's all. I think it's just a race car when I had cut it in <laughs> and this is not what I want to do, but I want to cut it. Maybe the original Y yeah, pipe went that way, but maybe it's probably still in the off. That's part of the Y pipe. That's that blue is off. Something sounded very wiggly back there. They cut it, it's just... I'm not going to be happy. I'll make sure that one's on. They even put cotter pins in every one of these, Doug, so then... So the square stock don't slip and then the pin will turn over the spring. Uh, yeah, they cut the piece of pipe and then the piece I put in. Fine threads though, come on. Yeah. And if I don't be careful, I'll end up cutting the back of my ear off. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to do. Put the roll jack under here, take the stands out, and let the I-beam down to it. That's kind of my game plan, and we don't have to pour the power or nothing. Yeah, you don't have to jack in enough. We wanted to, you know, keep all of our digits in hand. Not yet. Not yet. I'll just snug this stuff and we'll tighten it up. Get it snugged up good. And But I can't believe that these original bushings are still as good a shape as they are. And they all spin yeah. and they all move. Everything's free. I move myself, break on through to the other side. Doug. Here, you want to bring that jack around if you don't mind? Right around to the middle. Bigger hammer, I guess. <laughs> I 
hammer. What? You need it? No. It stands out. Ah. Damn right in. Just cut a little more, more I guess. Okay. Gonna let that down just a little bit and see how close we get. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, come back up to it there a little bit. Yeah, okay. Now, that spring might still slide a little bit over. Up in here. I got myself in a pickle. I got it. I got it. We're good. We're moving now. Oh, we're just going to do a little bit of space here on that. Get a little bit of free play on that. And I don't want to lose it. Bring this your way a little bit. It's got to come this way just a little bit. But I don't know how it's going to move. I don't know how it's going to move here yet. And we're going to better try not to do too much there. And um, see what that up. this gives me a better okay, just fit along down. there. Now I'm going to have to try to cut that one off. For a second. Yeah. That's close to the I'm going to leave that in there for now. It's close, isn't it? But I'm actually, I want that cut off. Okay. No, okay. Both sides. Second, Doug. Just a second, Doug. Just, just, don't, don't, just a second. We'll, uh, we will... If that end comes up a little bit, it's not going to be bad. We'll have to pull that in. Right in. Is your ratchet strap anywhere, Doug? They're on the back of the... Some out there. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I did sting them on there pretty good, didn't I? Is there a small one out there, Doug? I remember the fancy one. Let's just see how this works. Let's just see. That really can't spring that way much. No, because I didn't do I didn't go near nothing. To that, one? that won't do nothing. Hold on, I do that. See that piece up there moving? All right, just give me a minute here, and I'll figure it out. Figure it out. That's gonna ball back there. It's got a track bar on. No, the cool, the leaf spring is the track. Ah, at the top. All right, so I have these disconnected, disconnected down which down I want them disconnected. Go, I'm not sure what's going on there right yet. Um, we're, this one here we're seems to be out a little bit farther and, uh, than this one. And it is, like a little bit. I probably could zip cut it and push it down a little bit further. I think the front end just sprung over a little bit, that's all. Yeah, is this one here turn like this? Yeah, I could like push that one? down some. No, of course it's down. Down. That's gonna be a bummer. That's gonna be a bummer. Mm. What's the noise? Sun, right? 
I want front. Well, we might get it here after. Okay, let's just try a little something. Is that something. there? What am I actually thinking is, is taking one, take one, take one of these out and run it up to the middle. We've got lots of shape there. There's nothing going on there whatsoever. Nothing's going to harm that. Nothing's going in unless you bang on it and hit it. But in all honesty, the shape of our rear end. No, no, no. We got to go to the frame of the car. We might have to go on this side. That steering box is there. Is there any holes up in that frame? Go right around this, Doug. Right up and around this piece. Right around the top of it. No, no. Uh, right, right, right behind that arm. Yeah. See this piece got to tuck and out back like down this. to itself. That does, that does it for me there. Like I mean, that makes me happy about that. No, this see this round thing on the outside of the frame. Let me just wrap it. Wrap it right around yeah. that, and then back to itself, and back to the strap. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Then I'm gonna go on this side here. See what this looks like. A bit of confusion. Back, I might have to. Didn't work there. Going on. Get another another piece in here yet, Doug? One more piece. I'm gonna connect this fit up the in there. That will fit up in there. Oh, back onto itself. My top piece has all come disconnected up there. On this, on this side, the they did. To ourselves. On this side, they did. They come right. disconnected. That's right. That's okay. <laughs> oh, that's what that is. is ice hitting the wall. It's all right. Had a little bit of snow. I, that's what I thought it was. It's having a little bit of hail right at the present moment. Truth door. That's what's going on. strap here. Boom. That looks pretty good though, you know. The distance there. Distance Hope you don't there get grease good. on it. To me it does. Like you said earlier. Get ready to see. That can be pulled out like that to match that. Now, where are we at, Doug? What's that? I don't even know if this is going to work. We're just giving it a TRY. I don't want to disconnect it because that pulls right. That pulls right in shape. Once that's, you know, I mean, once I once I do that, like that's this is out of right. shape a little bit. Because we're a little bit higher there, but I mean, I can push that in or pull that out. I mean, to me, once I pull that out, that'll be a nice shape going there. Like it's, it matches what's going on here. Um, basically, bringing that up too. And that would be just a matter of tacking something from uh, inside here on this piece here to this piece, and same thing on that piece to keep that out the same. And then I can make a panel for that. I'm just. What I'm thinking is that comes up. How much is I might take these raw this 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 square this uh, round stock out, we can pull it right out. If it went too far, didn't we? Uh, put one in the middle. Oh, yeah. So everything stays in shape in the middle, and then I have I don't even really need there. It's quite oh, quite yeah. strong to be honest with you. Once it be welded, but it would be nice to hold that up high That's the one. instead of having it fall down. And I could have that sit down on top of one of these. They've got two of them bent. I just don't know where I'm going right at the present second, if you know what I'm saying. But I think. In all honesty, I'm probably going to cut, um, cut these, yeah. cut these out, cut these out, mm, use one for the center, and see what happens. Go from there. This piece crisp, here is just a piece Dad. of cardboard. Trace <laughs> that. We'll we'll save that. This is um, just because I'm not sure crisp. yet. Let's go up front yet. and see what's going on there. <laughs> I don't know where it's going, but... <laughs> okay, here, let me just whoop that off, Doug. Right. Oh, nice that. Strap that your strap more. this way. <laughs> what, are you ratchet strapping? Right, how's it going, man? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're just... Yes, we are. Don't worry about us, we're just... Uh, oh, I'm not worried about it, I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching. Uh, no, I just, I'm not sure if this is going to work down. I just said applesauce and threw them right off. <laughs> you did, though. <laughs> yeah, we'll get her here in a minute. Just got to get it going the right way on us here. Get going the right way. To be continued. <laughs> 
Okay, Doug. I want to go. How come that ain't working? You're just trying to get on the. Try to draw it together so you can put that. It's going to come together just a little bit for yeah. this one shackle. That's all. Yeah. And there's a little wiggle play there, so we got to get it sideways a little bit. We're probably going to have to ratchet sideways and jack the spring. I figure there's going to be two things going okay. on here at once. If you need a hand, I can give you a hand. I'm uh, just not sure what I'm doing right this well, second either. We've got enough hands right in here. Okay. Actually, I'll I'm, be losing. Doing what, I'm going back to doing what I'm doing then. I don't want to be losing these nuts already. They're here. Lose it, don't lose, lose these pieces. Lose I'm going to lose it one of these days. You don't lose it, you lose it. That's what they say. That's what they say. All right. I like, I like this. I like this. How this is this side. I like this side. I'm going to make this side look the same. Okay, just get a little That's what bit I'm gonna do. on that. And the, how am I going to do that? Or how do I want to do that? Right before it goes up. See that? Then, and then. I basically have it There's how much where I want it. How much it but to go. Um, in actual fact, I just wonder if I should take that out. See, on it, on its own, I got a little tiny bit of uh, right from wait one two three right the, right there is good. And right back here, it's it's laid in there a little bit. I don't really yeah. want Auto that laid in, in the there like this. Like don't want. I'm thinking if I take this thing out here and I get that shoved in there and get that held down on that, then I can get this center up where it needs to be. I'm going to take this one out and try it for the center. So I'm going to go up in there and cut that bar out. I am, I am, I am. So if I, you know, if I cut, I can, I'm going to cut that out, or I'm going to cut this piece out, and I'm going to cut that out, but I don't, I want, I want I that to, um, to be the same just, as that. Yeah. Um, that's kind of holding pressure on that right at the present moment. I'm going to let you guys on a little secret here for a secret. second. I was going to, secret. tell me what you think, tell me what you think. Come, come on back for a second. Let's take it. Come on Have back a Kit Kat. A Have a break. <laughs> <laughs> come back. Um, I had, we actually... Um, there's a couple things that have gone on to make my head 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 think this. Um, we we just acquired a motorcycle off of a guy named Mike Herman. Right. Mike Herman is it not? That's his name, and it's a pretty cool motorcycle. That is awesome. And, and it's just it's just that we acquired it. It was a pretty cool motorcycle. We've yeah. actually got it joined, got it filmed it, whatever. We're not sure yet, but uh, Dan the man stopped in the other day. Guy who watches YouTube and stuff quite a bit. He stopped in. And uh, he gave an idea of saying, make it a motorcycle hauler. And I was sort of thinking, wow, yeah, that's cool. Because we were just thinking about buying this motorcycle from Mike. So anyways, as I've got uh, that piece of round stock in there and that piece of round stock in there, it's exactly two feet or a little better. No, it's 20, I think it's 28 inches, a little better than two feet. And they're 28 inches all the way through. So I can get a motorcycle in there. I can't, and if, and if I do cut it, if I do make it a, if, you know, it's just a suggestion. If I do make it a motorcycle hauler, I'm just going to cut it along this line, or on that, that round stock, and then weld that, this roof to that round stock that's underneath there. So you're actually going to get to see, you're actually going to, it's actually going to be a, it would be a coop from the side, but yet it would be probably open from here back. Like say if I made a piece across here and run back, run it back like that, and run it run it over there and back like that. That cuts all this out. Piece of round stock in here, then I can case that all the way in around there, and then I can run a motorcycle in there. Do you like the idea or don't like the idea? Or you like this better? I like the roadster idea, but that is a cool idea. That is a cool idea. Because mm -hmm. I've measured it out, seven feet will give me, the back wheel will be right about there. And I'll have, the wheel would be just behind the back seat. So you'd have a, you'd have a package tray. You can get that proper thing for the tire to set in. Yeah. There's a proper thing for a bike tire to set in on a hauler. You could set down. Front right, but I'm just, I'm just, do you like the Roadster or do you like the bike hauler? Which would, what would, if going down the road, which would draw your brain, your eye faster? This thing with the motorcycle in the back, or just being a roadster with the 
Cars on top on it. I look at the motorcycle and I look at the car. <laughs> I like Roadster. Should I just keep I, going with what I'm going I like with? the Roadster too. Just keep going this way? I think so. What do you think? I think so. All right. It's over. Yeah. We're going to go Roadster. I was going to make a motorcycle hauler. Let's, I sort of put these in here just in case because I can, you know, I can run a line and cut that along here. And then there's, you know, there's no, I don't have to make this piece. Right. But I can still make this piece. It's just, I'm going to take the, the, where I have this sunk in here a little bit, I'm going to take that out and put it through the center where it needs to be to hold the center up. Because this has got all kinds of, that's got all kinds of. Yeah, now things. that you've got this tacked together, you could take them out. Like you said, put that one in the middle. One in the middle. And then, it, then I'll just make the back end and make it into a roaster. But I was thinking about doing a motorcycle hauler. Is there going to be another one? Else. What do you mean? You're gonna be another one. Make it, it something, something else. else. Yeah, it's a still good idea. Yeah, yeah I, just, I like I, the idea. You know, from it was just an idea that was thrown out, and uh, I kind of enjoyed it. And the reason being is I had the motorcycle. We yeah. acquired the motorcycle, yeah. and the motorcycle. Yeah, have you seen the? You haven't seen the motorcycle. You have. You know what kind of bike is it? It's kind of roached like this one, yeah. or not roached. It's patinaed like okay, this one. Patina bike. Really yeah, okay. nice, and it would, it would kind of. It would suit the car very well, yes. yeah. Yeah, it would. It would very well. It's whatever you want. Come to do, take man. a look at it. Oh, you, you already got the fun. We already got it. She's a beauty, man. It, it, we already got it. And, I love it. Well, I mean, let's face it. With the motorcycle in the back, I mean, with the cars on top and then have the motorcycle in the back of the car, like. Cool. It would be cool. Has anyone ever made one of these like that? I don't, basically, I, I would think maybe a ute. But they generally have a box shoved inside the back. I don't want to put a box in the back. I want to keep the. I was thinking about keeping the rear end the same. Obviously, keep. Oh, could, could, get, could you? Could you? Could go you, for it. Could you do the same thing you're saying? Cut it out. Make it the bike hauler, but make a centerpiece. Oh, definitely. Tr tr you could still just make a piece that just like with four pins or something. Four four pins on it just for the centerpiece, so it looks like a roadster when you want to drive it. And when you want to haul a bike, pop it off. Then. Same idea as the cars and tops when to come on and off. Well, I can do that, no problem. Because that would just be, uh, that would just be... It'd just be a piece of metal. Holding the, yeah, just a piece of metal running down the pins. same shape. Yep. And you could even cover it like the cars and top. You know, it could be a piece of material going down through the middle. Could like be, you, yep. Oh, what's that? Oh, well, it's a bike hauler, too. Yeah. Take oh, the deal. wow, man, that's cool. <laughs> so it's kind of, come look at the motorcycle. Let's do both. Let's, come take a look at We're it. We're going to go look at the bike. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You guys want to drive the car, man. Hey, Fiend. Fiend, that bad stuff's flying. The bad stuff's flying in the air. So it was just... That is pretty narrow. I know. Oh, we gotta get this door from Joe. And there's a couple different ones that I could put in the back of it. But this one here is the one we just... Oh, yeah. that, that runs. That runs and drives, eh? That's run and drive. And it's just kind of. It's got quite a patina on it, hasn't it? It does. It does. Also, you know, I could put. We got a little two-seater scooter over there. You know what I mean? That would look good in the back of it. <laughs> the scooters are cool. Yeah. Vespa thing over there. Little Vespa thing. If you know what I'm saying, like it's yeah. kind of. That would probably sit down. Might sit down in too far, maybe, but. Oh. Well, basically, I would I, know, I would man. put square tubing in the back and 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 Box. have a have a flat a flat area where it goes in, mm -hmm. and you say you can get a chalk so I could pull it in or whatever. Well, yeah, the piece your front wheel just drops mm -hmm. into that piece, and, the, and then you can just strap it. And yeah. So I was thinking of you know, but that there kind of I don't know. I just thought that would look good in the back of the car, you know. They did the the tank is painted like the CB six fifties and stuff mm -hmm. were in the early eighties. Late seventies, the way the tank deal. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but it is. basically, I have to, I have to make the decision. <laughs> now, I don't, I don't want to make all the back of the car yeah. and then cut it out. Yeah. But the car looks so good right now. Like it it, I only need is a little piece around and go down and connect yeah. onto the back, a cut piece of metal, and it's over. I, we have, we have accomplished a roaster. But if I go to bike hauler, that means I've got to cut it out on either side. And then put that frame it in, frame it in, and, and do all that. There's a lot more to it. You'd build a floor ramp for it. Yeah. yeah. 
And I'd like to have it done before tomorrow. <laughs> that's, not, that's not true. Late night tonight, Doug? Yeah. That's but I would I'm like saying. to have it done, you know, before too long. I'm just kind of wondering. It does look good that way, though, doesn't it? It does. It, it's looking pretty good. Like, you get arts and crafts, feet, arts and draw your motorcycle on the back of it on I, your chalkboard. I took a picture last night, and I put it on the pillow, and I went to sleep. And it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, it didn't have baby. Yeah. But anyways, that's what I'm thinking. Like, if that motorcycle was in the back of the car, you would still see the roadster. Like, I mean, yeah. you would still have the shape of the side oh, shape. the side view would still yeah. look just like it. Just like it. But when you come up on it, you would... What would you be more impressed with? A roadster or a roadster, roadster with a bike on. in the back? Uh, yeah, do both, I guess. I like the idea. Do both. Or it's going to work, though. It's going to take longer to get the car done. Nah, not not mm -hmm. like to be honest with you. I got to put that V in the back. I got to make that piece and weld that yeah. all in. I've got to make that that it's nothing to make the tail end piece because it's just coming down and then a hard roll in and fasten yeah. on the bottom. Or I can whoosh, up one side and whoosh, up the other side, get all clear all that metal out, put round stock on the edge of it, make a package tray in the back, slide the bike in the back. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> what we're going to do is, whatever, what we'll do is, we'll leave it right here, like this right now. Um, let's see why not. I think we should do both. Yeah, let's see why not. What do you think? Leave it like you this right now, or do you want to show it, com it coming so down? Maybe should. We're not ready to come the front down. Yet. Come down. It's got, it's got a little bit left to do. There's a little get. more duty still. Okay, so we'll leave. We'll leave the video right here like this, and and we'll let everybody comment and and see what they would do. And the basic thing, I guess, I guess the, I guess I would want. What I'm thinking is, you can make your mind up. I guess we explained it good enough, but it would be basically. It is cool. I know how I draw. You tell that ram. Look, it's got all kinds of filter. Yeah. You're gonna draw it fast, but. The tank is lined in. They did line it. And have a motorcycle in the back. Yeah, nice. Basically, <coughs> with the cars on top. That's a poor picture, but. See, now's the time I should touch everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Nice hands, Nate. It was, well, what they say, dirty hands it. clean money? That's what they say, yeah. Dirty everything is made. So basically, that's what I'm thinking. If we go to a motorcycle hauler, and I'm, I'm right at that point. If I haul that round stock out, I just cut them both off because they're not hitting exactly right. If I chalk line, make my line, then I'll put my round stock on, make it fit, and I'll do the exact same thing on the other side, and then I'm riding my motorcycle up in the middle. Or do I continue on and like it's basically going together like pretty good. I've got that center looking good. Yeah. All I'd want to do is take that round rod and put it in the center. Instead of having it on either side, because I'm not doing the bike haul, it's not doing me anything out there. But in the center, that piece of round stock will, it finishes it, and then I can yep. finish it off. But there's a comment for you. Bike hauler or roadster? We'll leave or it as both. that. Or both. Yeah. Well, basically it can be covered in yep. like that piece that you said in the center where it's cut out. Yep. It could be just a piece of flat bar and, and something laid on top of it to fill it back in. I'm not sure when, where you would put that piece at that fits that car. At home. At <laughs> when home. you're done, you, yeah. you go and get the bike and take it off. It's like yeah. the Bronco. Take top off, go for drive, come back, put it back on. Yeah. <laughs> Basically the same thing. Bike hauler or roadster? Come back tomorrow and find out.